Okay, so my second um, video is about James Jerome Hill, who was going to be become uh, in his life the owner of the Northern Pacific Railroad Company. So he was born in Ontario, Canada in 1838. Um, he didn't go to school for very long, only about nine years. Um, he quit, oh, he didn't quit. He stopped going when he was 14. Um, he studied math and English, but interestingly enough, he also studied land surveying, which was interesting. That wasn't like a normal class. Um, so it was good. This is the house in winter. Um, so then he just kind of, he was, his family was really intelligent, his family was wealthy. Um, they had all been pretty smart people and things like that. Um, so then when he was 35, he entered into the steamboat industry and became very successful. Um, and he, but he actually donated a lot of his money. By the time he died, they figured out that he had donated hundreds of thousands of dollars, which was an insane amount of money, especially for this time. Um, he had been, but he had been donating that much money to schools and libraries. Um, so he entered the steamboat industry. He really liked the idea of transportation, thought it was a good idea for people especially um, to be able to get from place to place quicker. So when, in 1893, he left the steamboat industry and bought Northern Pacific Railroad Company. Um, he, he left with some friends, but it ended up being just him that uh, went into railing. The other ones just kind of slipped off. He was criticized for a long time um, when he would be building tracks um, because he would take such a long time to build them. Most people would go through and build, and just like build it and get it done, and then start it, and then wait for it to be settled more towards the end of the rail line. Um, he didn't really think that that made a lot of sense. So instead, he would um, build a couple hundred miles, and then wait until people came in, settled, and filled in that area. So that the entire time he was building, he was actually getting use out of his rail line. Um, so build a couple more hundred miles and then wait a couple months while people moved in and got settled and things like that. And then he would start moving in. Um, his work ethic, ethic was incredible. Um, he was often quoted for his quote, his idea of work. So he said, work, hard work, intelligent work, and then more work. So he really just wanted to, to get the rail line done and get it finished. So. Um, after he bought Northern Pacific Rail Line Company, he bought a couple other rail lines. Um, he bought the, the Burlington Rail Line Company and the Santa Fe Rail Line Company. And for a long time, he tried to combine them into one rail line company. Um, but the ICC, the International Code Council, um, would always deny it when he would try to combine them um, for monopoly reasons because they didn't want him to be in charge of all the rail lines. Which didn't really make sense because he owned all three of them independently, so he kind of did own all of them in the Pacific Northwest, all the major ones at least. So um, him combining them was really just making it so he would have less paperwork to do. Um, but uh, while he was alive, he never got to see that happen because the ICC didn't allow the merger until 1995. Um, the Pacific Northwest Rail Line Company, oh my goodness, the Northwestern Pacific Rail Line Company combined with the Burlington and the Santa Fe to become the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway, which is now just known as the BNSF Railway, and it's still in use today. A lot of the, um, rail lines that used to be part of the Northern Pacific Railroad Company are kind of just like not really in use anymore. They're just kind of there, but um, major parts of that aren't, aren't used anymore. But there's still small sections of what the original rail line is that are still in use today.